MacArthur was saying, even outside of those splash plays, just on the run in the middle, even if they're running in the opposite way, that he's doing a lot of the right little things. Is that what you're seeing from him? And is that an encouraging sign as we get into the season? Absolutely, without a doubt, he's playing some great football, playing with great effort, um, excelling where he's supposed to be, not just being there. So he's making a lot of good plays in crucial times. So uh, Dante playing at the top of his game is best for the whole team. Have you kind of spoken to him or anything like that? Any motivation from what Arthur was saying seems sky high. Oh, yeah. I mean, he, he's somebody who definitely have a high standard for himself. And um, that's why I'm so excited to play with him week in and week out. And I know the best is still, be still there for him. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I feel like it was both. You know, definitely took a step in, some things we can build off of, and uh, just want to continue to move forward and keep getting better week in and week out and uh, just keep getting after this quarterback, being strong in the run game, you know, making big plays, whether it's, like you said earlier, you know what I'm saying, whether it's down the field, sideline to sideline, just being effective, you know, as, as much as we can as the D-line. Yeah, no, no, definitely never get frustrated. It's expected, you know what I'm saying? Uh, when you want to be, you know, the best at what you do, you know, you're going to garner more attention. And, um, you know, whether the numbers are there or not, I know that I'm putting in work, you know what I'm saying? I know that I'm causing, bringing attention, um, whatever it may be. And, um, you know, if I get doubled, I mean, I just got to find a way to beat it, you know, and uh, other guys got to step up. And, and, you know, it's been encouraging to see that happen. So um, it's been good. And, um, you know, I never get frustrated by more work, though. The more work, the better. Yeah, yeah, without a doubt, you know, definitely explosive off the snap, but just being being tenacious, man, just playing to that to that whistle blow, you know, and uh, not letting, you know, when you get a double team, whether it's in a run game or pass game, be the end, you know, push through and keep hunting, being relentless, you know, that's what it takes to be great, and um, and you know, that's what you work for, that's what I train for, and um, like it's, like I said, it's, it's expected. Who taught you the uh, swim moves there? <laughs> uh. You know, I'm a little disappointed a little bit, you know what I'm saying? We've been together for a while now. I think you've seen that swim a couple times, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? So, so they ain't, they ain't, they ain't nothing new, man. You know what I'm saying? They ain't, they ain't nothing new. You know, it's right place, right time. But, but no, I'm just playing. I'm just kidding, man. I'm just kidding. Uh, you know, uh, you know, it was there. Uh, guy had, you know, some low hands, you know, and uh, it was there. I saw a split second where I had an opportunity window to get through there and just came, came kind of natural, you know what I'm saying? So it felt, felt good to get through there. Uh, we, we can see. We can see. I ain't, I ain't pulled it out yet. You know what I'm saying? I ain't pulled it out yet, but definitely something I want to want to bring back, whatever it may be. And uh, but whatever's open, you know what I'm saying? Whatever's open, and and whatever they give me, I'm gonna take. It. How does it feel for y'all to you know get the pass rush going here early in the season? It feel good. Definitely, definitely feel good and encouraging, and um, making us want to strive for more. You know, um, getting that early success. And um, it, it definitely pushes you to be better, you know what I'm saying? So I think there's a lot out there for myself, for the whole defensive line. Um, guys are definitely pushing day in and day out to be better. Are you a big note taker in meetings, Yeah, I'm a big note taker. I'm a big note taker. I take, uh, I fill up a notebook. I do it like quarterly, you know what I'm saying? So I get through four or five, uh, four or five a season in the regular season because uh, by the time I get to three three games, um, I'm usually through the, through the book three, four games. So. I love to take notes, even if it's like blitz we've done a million times. I always like to go through and draw them again, just keep it refreshed, and uh, never just assume that I know something. You know what I'm saying? No matter how much I kind of play a person or a team, I try to just go through my process the same way, you know, week in and week out, and the way I do it. And I did it so much, I, I look at my notebook, I know what I'm doing there, but if you just kind of don't know what's going on, you might be like, what the, what's this and where it's going? But it's, it's a method to the madness, but yeah, definitely like to take notes. Pen and paper, pen and paper. I'm definitely pen and paper. I can't do the, I can't retain well on the, um, on the iPad that well for some reason. I think I'm old school a little bit. You know what I'm saying? It's like whether it's notes, goals, whatever it may be, I'm a pen and paper guy. I feel like it stick with you better. Is there somebody in your career down the line who taught you the importance of that? Um, uh, I think Ray. You know, I'm close. Everybody know I'm close to Ray Lewis, and uh, one of the things about him that uh, I learned just just from watching like videos about him, they always said that he would, he's not that he, that he told me personally, but just he would always treat every year like it was like he was like a rookie, you know what I'm saying? Like never, never knowing, knowing, knowing everything and just, you know, come in, fresh install, you know, learn, learning uh, what to do again and again and again, and just keeping it fresh and just never assuming that you know something because um, 
one, you know, every moment is a new moment, and you just got to keep keep things fresh and um, just keep your mind going. We all got so much stuff going on, you know, in life, so you always want to keep your, keep your notes and detail ready. So I definitely figured if somebody like that, the greatest at all time in his position, can sit there and, you know, be a note taker every day and that is why, I mean, me, I can do a little something like that too, you know what I'm saying? So definitely just implementing some things that I learned from, from, from great people. Um, they uh, over the years, over the years, they spread out around the house somewhere. You know what I'm saying? I moved a couple of times, so they are around somewhere. You know, but uh, I definitely keep them. But like I told you, I just kind of every t every time, even when we play teams twice, like in the division, fresh set of notes, fresh set of, cause I just like to, you know, I'll review some old things, but I just think everything changed and every season is new. You know what I'm saying? Um, teams always implement new things that they have success with as the course of the season goes on and. Um, guys change throughout the year, so definitely always having some fresh. Um, sometimes when you uh, like, like with that swim move, right? It looks so great. Mm -hmm. and, you know, it touched you, but what, I'm not asking you to give away trade secrets. But can you set somebody up for a situation like that? You know, by I think by showing certain tendencies and then bang, there's something mm -hmm. different that they weren't expecting. That they, you, you lull them into a sense of mm -hmm. like routine, and then bang, you knock them. Yeah, I think if you're just talking pass rush in general, you know, any kind of pass rushing coach or, you know, great pass rushers to tell you that, you know, you you, 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 you got to whether it's set somebody up or, you know, like just come right out the gate. It's always a method to the madness and however you however you um, be able to come free one time, whether it's somebody send somebody to go upfield to come under or, you know, power, power to a slip or whatever it may be. It's always a method to the madness when, in having an idea why you're doing things based off whether it's something you studied or um, whether just in the moment, just repetition, repetition, and you get that feeling in the game. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so so definitely, it's definitely, uh, I would say definitely, you know, that's there's, there's definitely method to the madness. Everybody got their own process, you know, as the great rushers across the league go and some of the great teachers that I've been able to learn from. So it's definitely um, some things that you like to teach, like learn from. I know it's not in your position. It's always you versus one guy. It's not edge rusher and right or left tackle. Mm -hmm. But do you like that, the kind of mental aspect of it? I mean, so much of it's physical. But mm -hmm. you got to be thinking like a chess player too, right? Yeah, without a doubt. Without a doubt. Um, whether it's in the past or some run game, um, you know, knowing what the team like to do, tendencies, um, what they like to do in certain personnel, what, 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 what person like to do what, and studying the position of the person in front of you. It's definitely a lot of mental that goes into it. You know, you just don't go out there. For me, anyway, don't just go out there blind and just go out there and play. It's the, every, the, the, the proof is in the preparation. You know, the work is in the preparation. You know, and uh, it's absolutely physical, like you say, but it's just as much mental.